Are you paid to work overtime? If not, you may, one of, may be rather one of the millions of Americans that President Obama wants to help. The president is asking the Labor Department to raise the wage cutoff for overtime pay. The current law exempts salaried workers from earning overtime if they make more than $455 a week. That's even if the employees are regularly expected to work more than 40 hours. The president is expected to announce the proposed legislation tomorrow. The proposal is part of what President Obama calls a year of action. He also wants the federal minimum wage increased to more than $10 an hour. Now, the plan is getting mixed reaction here in Northeast Wisconsin. Fox 11's Laura Smith brings us balanced coverage tonight. At the Hampton Inn in Ashwaubenon, a couple of employees are salaried. Their pay is based on a 45-hour work week. Understanding that if you're salaried, you could be called in at midnight, you could have to work extra hours in a particular day, so there's some hour, overtime hours built into the salary already. President Obama's proposal to expand overtime pay requirements may sound good for workers, but Larson says it could instead negatively impact his salaried employees. I would most likely uh, reduce the uh, salaried employees to a, an hourly rate commensurate with what they're currently making but they would lose that extra five hours a week of overtime. Economics experts say if the president's plan passes, many businesses will likely look at a variety of options to make up the cost. Probably uh, try to uh, schedule more carefully so that they didn't incur the higher cost, the uh, overtime cost. And um, they might try to monitor their workers closely and make sure that they're working more productively so they don't have to work overtime. Nestline says he doubts the president's claim that millions of workers would be affected by the change. He doesn't see the proposal having a major effect on the economy. It's hard to know whether there's any data on how serious a problem is. Is this uh, that affects only a very few people and uh, they're working, you know, two hours overtime or they are forced to work 15 hours overtime on a regular basis. Republicans warn the plan would lead businesses to reduce staff and freeze hiring. The president's policies are making it difficult for employers uh, to expand employment. And until the president's policies get out of the way, employers are going to continue to sit on their hands. Larson suggests more research before moving ahead. I think you need to give the businesses the flexibility to um, maybe reevaluate themselves, maybe police themselves. Laura Smith. Fox 11 News. White House officials say Obama is allowed to make the change on his own under the Fair Labor Standards Act. There will be a public comment period before the Labor Department can start implementing the rule.